Hey there everybody, this is Patty. Tonight I'm going to do something a little bit different um, since I'm stuck in the house like all of us are and uh, can't go anywhere, can't film anywhere. Um, this is a very tough time for all of us and um, and it's, you know, trying to find things to do to, to continue to post something on my YouTube channel. I've been coming up with some ideas which I did share some of these ideas with you guys in a live stream not long ago, and a lot of you thought it was a great idea. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make communication with Sylvia Brown. I'm going to try at least. Okay, so Sylvia Brown, I have it pulled up on my screen here. In one of her books that she put out, I believe in 2008, but in this book she predicted that in 2020, it's, it's the exact words. I'm going to read it. In around 2020, a severe pneumonia-like illness will spread throughout the globe, attacking the lungs and the bronchial tubes and resisting all known treatments. Almost more baffling than the illness itself will be the fact that it will suddenly vanish as quickly as it arrived, attack again 10 years later, and then disappear completely. Now, this was something that she predicted a long time ago. Sylvia Brown is no longer with us, as most of you know. She passed away a few years ago, but uh, she was someone that I always admired. I watched her on everything that she was ever on, really. I, I have a lot of her books. Most of them are packed away in the garage still from when I moved in my house, but I do have a lot of her books, and I'm sure I have, quite sure I have this one. But I have seen a friend of mine's book firsthand I looked at the book myself and seen that this is definitely in there um, you can pull this up online now there's a lot of things that she has predicted wrong so a lot of people out there are focusing more on what she predicted wrong just as with anything you know everyone wants to look for the negative well I try to look for the positive and from everything I've read about this, I mean, come on, the lady predicted this. You know, did she get lucky? Yeah, I guess it's possible. But, I mean, to, to read this just blows me away. And, um, you know, like I said, she has been wrong about some things as well. We are all wrong, and most psychics do make mistakes. They, they are wrong. They get wrong information, and they, you know, they, they're just wrong sometimes. I mean, it, it just happens, you know? But you got to give her credit for a lot of things. She was right about a lot of things as well. And this here just blows me away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my spirit box and I'm going to try to communicate with Sylvia Brown right now. I'm going to try. Like I said, I, you know, I don't know if, if I can make communication with her or not. I'm not one to really try to do communications with with celebrities and things like that. You guys know that. I just don't usually do that on my channel. But in this situation, I thought I would at least try, you know, what's going to hurt? So let, let's try to see if we can communicate with Sylvia Brown. I am going to put this, I'm going to put the camera right on her, on the screen. Okay, Sylvia Brown, I am reaching out to you right now to communicate with you about your prediction. I've always admired you. And I loved your work, and I, I was just fascinated over your, some of your books and things like that. So would you please come through my spirit box and tell me about this. Talk about this. Uh, tell me, uh, how, how did you see this? I mean, I, I know you're a psychic medium, but this, this is just amazing that you predicted the exact year and everything. It, it's mind-blowing. <clears throat> and tell me if this is the end of the days and uh, whatever else that you can tell me about it, basically. So I'm going to turn my spirit box on and uh, try to communicate with you right now. Sylvia Brown, are you with me? Right in front of you? Awesome. Thank you so much, Sylvia. I believe in you, and I believe that you really did predict this. There's a lot of 
people out there saying things against you about this prediction that you were wrong on some other things. <laughs> what can you tell me about this? My name is Patty and I'm a paranormal investigator. And I use the spirit box quite a bit to communicate with the other side. I think I am. I think I just heard from you. Do this to us on purpose. 
amazing guys I mean I, I still am just blown away by this prediction uh, you know that she predicted in around in around 2020 a severe pneumonia like illness will spread throughout the globe attacking the lungs and the bronchial tubes and resisting all known treatments almost more baffling than the illness itself will be the fact that it will suddenly vanish as quickly as it arrived attack again 10 years later, then disappear completely. I mean, this is just pretty interesting. And you can research this yourself online. Like I said, there's a lot of negative things I've read, you know, and I try to find the positive and I, I try to find the truth. And the truth is she predicted this. So although she was wrong about some things and a lot of people think she was a fake and a phony and all that, how did she, why did she put this in her book from back in uh, 2008 I believe it was or it was either 2008 or 2012 I've been reading so many different things uh, with her that uh, you know what I can I can actually look it up right now just so I can have that answer for you okay so let's look it up okay yes it was 2008 here it is right here that is the book. End of the days. You can actually go online and you can order it. So you can get this book for uh, $12.89 on Amazon. I just looked it up. And um, so if you would like to get it, they even have the audio version of it as well. So if you are interested in getting the book, you could. Um, that way you can see for yourself that it's in her book. And uh, there's a few other websites here that are talking about it. You know, did did Sylvia Brown, let's see, did self-described Sylvia Brown predict the coronavirus? This is online also. And it's right there in her book. See, there's a few articles about this. In early March 2020, amid fears about in an international outbreak of an illness caused by the new coronavirus dubbed COVID-19, social media users shared an image of a page in the book, End of the Days, which was published in 2008 and authored by self-described psychic medium Sylvia Brown. Where'd my screen just go? That was weird. Did Sylvia Brown predict the coronavirus in her End of the Days book? One reader asked. Brown died in 2013, 
She gained notoriety for her claims that she could predict the future and communicate with spirits. But she was also the subject of criticism for offering the grieving parents of missing children false information. Okay, so there's, you know, that's what a lot of people are focusing on right there. Uh, Brown did vaguely write in her 2000 book that a respiratory illness would spread across the globe in 2020. Here are her own words from the Google Books version of End of the Days. And then right there, they show what I just read you guys. And it says, although the term prediction, I don't know why my screen is flashing like this, really weird. Although the term prediction is a subjective one, it may come as no surprise that Brown claimed to have foreseen the international respiratory disease outbreak, considering that the SARS severe acute respiratory syndrome outbreak of the early 2000s occurred before her book was published. Okay, see that see that how they're how they're trying to twist that up there. Okay, so they're talking about that, but yet, well, I mean, come on, it still doesn't change the fact that she predicted this was going to happen in 2020. I just love how the media likes to twist things around. The term severe would certainly apply to some cases of COVID-19, the coronavirus disease, which has been deadly for thousands of patients in 2020. The illness appears to be more lethal than the seasonal flu, though some of the cases are quite mild and asthmatic. Finally, it would be subjective to describe the coronavirus as baffling. Coronavirus infections are not new. Although COVID-19 is a new strain, and because of that, no vaccines or therapeutic treatments exist yet to fight it. And of course, no evidence exists Evidence exists that the COVID-19 will suddenly vanish. Well, of course there's no evidence of it. See what I'm saying? I mean, this is just ridiculous how, how they twist things around. Of course there's no evidence of it, yet it just started like a couple of months ago. Come on, people. In fact, the health professionals have stated it might become a seasonal illness. I, have not, I haven't heard that yet, so I don't know. I watch the news every day and I have not heard anybody say it could become a seasonal illness. We therefore rate this claim mixture, although it could be argued that stating a respiratory illness would sweep through the world in 2020 was accurate. Other elements of this book passage are unknown or unlikely, and of course, predicting a worldwide outbreak of a respiratory illness when one has already happened. Okay, when one has already happened. Okay, so one has already happened, and so just because one already happened and she didn't predict that one, I guess it wasn't possible for her to predict another one. They're saying that it could be more of a matter of lucky guessing than predicting so there's always going to be somebody to doubt what a psychic medium can do or even what I do. There's a lot of people out there that doubt it. And uh, that's kind of what I'm reading here. And that's kind of why I read it to you because I, I, can, I can read between the lines. I can see where they're going with this. It's like, you know, okay, well, there was an illness that, that caused a lot of deaths, but she didn't predict that. Now, how did she predict this? Because that had just happened. I mean, come on. You know what I'm saying? So the fact is the woman predicted this in her book in 2008 that in 2020, this illness, she didn't call it the COVID-19, but she just predicted basically what's going on right now. And I just that, find that pretty amazing. So uh, therefore, that's why I'm doing this video, you know, and, and, you know, you can tell me your thoughts in the comment section. Um, I'm not going to sit and argue with people about this. Uh, the fact is she predicted it. That's the facts. The facts are online. It's in the book. Um, how did she predict it? I mean, okay, she was wrong about some things. I get that. But she predicted this, guys. I mean, that's it's, it's amazing to me. It, it is amazing. So, um, Anyway, that's why I'm doing this, and I would like to do a little bit more with this and uh, maybe do another another video about this if you guys would like me to. And the next one I'm going to use, if, if you guys want me to do another one of these, I'm going to use the um, S-Box and also the Necrophonic app. 
So if you guys like this video and you want me to do another one like this using the Necrophonic and the S-Box, I will do it. Let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and everybody be safe out there. Stay home. Be safe if you do go out to the store or whatever. Just be safe. Wear a mask. Cover your face. Keep, keep your distance from people. People are still being very careless out there. I mean, I've watched so many people being careless every time I go into the store. It's just crazy. Um, today, when I went to the store, it was a little bit better. But one thing I saw that really sickened me was a woman letting her kids just run around touching everything and even touching those little kids' grocery carts, just pushing them around and touching everything. It was just, it was, it just made me cringe. Um, I won't even let my kids leave the house. I won't take them anywhere. So that's me. That's my, my, me personally. I mean, we'll go outside and we'll walk around, you know, we'll take a walk around the block, things like that. We stay away from everybody. But, um, you know, you got to do what you got to do right now to protect yourself and protect everybody else. Okay, so I hope that you all uh, stay safe. And um, I hope that everyone that's watching this makes it through this pandemic. I really do. I really, truly do. Uh, I hope and pray that we all make it to stand together on this. And let's let's all just do what we got to do to get past this, get, the, get rid of this. If everybody cooperates and stays home and only leaves when you have to, it will eventually go away because it's not going to be spreading anymore. And uh, anyway, so thank you so much for watching and uh, let me know what you think about this video and what Sylvia Brown had to say. And I will do another one if you guys want me to using the other two spirit boxes. All right. Peace.